also, <laughs> the title was not clickbait. It's 2023. So I thought, why not? Why not do a face reveal? Nothing special, just a face. Hi. <laughs> Bet you weren't expecting that. Okay. So today, I'm going to be talking about a topic that's very important I think it's very important actually uh, a concept that not that I've made completely by myself but that I've due to you know what why explain why explain it when I can just get right to it do not <laughs> make fun of my drawing skills this is not an art competition okay <laughs> but uh, this is gonna be about the human body and uh, a concept that I've named true sight uh, and it's about systems, uh, ignore all the fucking talking that's going on, <laughs> uh, main system slash consciousness slash portals of the human body. Uh, this isn't going to cover all the systems and all the portals and all that complex stuff no this is gonna start off with the uh, basic fundamentals right you know what's really stressing me out the, f the fact that I've told my siblings I'm recording and they're still having loud ass conversations you know I'll, I'll pretend it's not happening okay so we have four main systems or centers as you might call them we have the mind we have the heart we have the gut and we have the body <laughs> so uh, when it comes to the system of the mind we have this thing that People, especially in the 21st century, uh, are mostly in their mind consciousness, whereas people in the ancient times uh, were aware of and were in tune with all of their other systems uh, and viewed the different organs as organs of perception uh, which they believed were influenced could be influenced by uh, the deities which they worshipped or the um, energy of the heavenly bodies uh, the, um, the 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 uh, planets and all that uh, <laughs> yeah so they, compared to us, were a lot more in tune with the environment around them, uh, very connected with nature. They were devoted, I'm just generalising here, uh, a lot more faithful uh, than most of us today and a lot more willing to accept and experience synchronicities and uh, spiritual things. <laughs> so, I will start off with the mind. So the mind system, or you can call it the mind consciousness so what 
I'm going to be talking about quite a lot of things, so I have no idea how long this video is going to be. So, the element which I like to associate with the, the mind center is the element of air. Uh, I'm, by elements, I'm referring to the uh, Neoplatonic elements, uh, but I have left out spirit. Yeah, so the uh, Neoplatonic elements such as air, water, uh, earth, fire. Yeah, the four main elements you get. So, uh, the mind is associated with the element of air. Uh, it works well uh, metaphorically to view a healthy mind as a flowing stream, a flowing uh, gentle stream, which can of course vary in, in speeds uh, according to times of the day or uh, according to how busy your mind is. Uh, a busy mind isn't necessarily a bad thing. Uh, however, this is why I don't agree with the term uh, quieting, quiet, quietening, or si actually, let's just say silencing the mind. Um, people say, oh, meditation aims to silence the mind, but no, you can never truly silence the mind, isn't it? Or still it, in a way, and even if you could, that would that wouldn't be very good. Uh, the mind, much like everything else uh, in our body, need to be. They need needs to have life, and to have life is to be able to have movement, not to be still or stagnant. So it's not to still the mind, but rather to keep the mind in flow, uh, in a constant state of flow, without uh, overly identifying with our thoughts or anything like that. Uh, so that's why during meditation, if you're suddenly bombarded with a lot of thoughts, the thoughts will clump together and s stick there and become repetitive and manifest into something a lot darker. I won't get into that, but uh, in another video. If you overly latch onto your thoughts, uh, but it's easier said than done for your to make your mind a a stream of like like a stream uh, free of all the clumps and blockages uh, because as someone uh, personally my mind is extremely busy I don't think it truly ever quiet why am I using that word. I don't think my mind ever truly goes silent. It gets less busy, of course, uh, the more relaxed I am. Uh, but something that I struggle with almost daily, actually, are intrusive thoughts. And intrusive thoughts are a manifestation of the... the clumps that I'm talking about and which eventually pollute and block the stream of the mind. Uh, I'll probably, I do have my coping mechanisms and stuff, uh, but that's going to be in another video probably, if I remember. <laughs> so, uh, so the mind, I call this the intellectual center, 
Uh, and the two key words that I would associate with the mind are observing. So being in mind consciousness is observation analysis. So when you're trying to understand the world around you by observing it, uh, reflecting on what's been observed in a purely technical and logical scientific way, that's all examples of being in uh, mind consciousness. Yeah, but that isn't the only state that a person could be in. Uh, should I bring up the portals now or later? I think I should bring it now. Mm. Actually, actually, oh, okay. It is also the mind that is like a gateway to all the other types of consciousness uh, of the human body. So th through the mind, you can bring awareness to the heart, uh, aka the uh, emotional center, uh, faith, love. <laughs> uh, bring awareness to the body, uh, which is the physical center, uh, health and groundedness. And you can also bring awareness to the gut, uh, which is the instinctual center, uh, survive, associated with many things actually, uh, mainly uh, survival, creativity, uh, even uh, dr drives such as hunger, thirst, uh things like uh light i'll get more into that uh in another video perhaps or maybe this video we'll see uh and also a very important part of uh the instinctual center is not only creativity but sexuality also and uh, one thing I'd like to add is that whatever center uh, that is the either physical center emotional center instinctual center or intellectual center so whichever one of those four main centers that you repress or deny or uh, are completely unaware about grows more powerful and eventually it will lead to ramifications uh, and all sorts of troubles and eventually will possess you. Uh, now when I use the word possess it's nothing to really be feared but it's I'd say with the uh, if you overly as I was saying before overly identifying with the thoughts in your mind and one of the ways that can it can manifest as repeating patterns of thoughts actually trauma can do that as well uh, can cause these repetitive thoughts and intrusive thoughts uh, that will seem to possess you and control you more than you'd have control over it unless you become aware of it unite the light and the shadow along with the heart uh, and eventually you will drive away that demon uh, yeah 
So I've only gone over the very basics. So the mind is a portal. The heart is a very important portal actually. Uh, part of which I'm not, I can't reveal completely right now. Uh, maybe in the future. Uh, whilst I develop that theory, uh, the the gut is a portal that drives uh, need for survival, and also the body, which is the physical center. So. Drawn it all out here and I've written, like, scribbled some notes. Uh, ignore the drawing, this is an art competition. So we have will this camera stop being blurry. Yeah, the mind over there, the intellectual center, we have the, uh, the heart, emotional center associated with faith and love and oh one thing to add uh, if a person is overly focused on just one of the four centers then they are out of balance essentially and this is uh, me speaking as someone who always like used to just be like overly um, involved with the the mind and focused on the intellectual center whilst unfortunately not being fully aware of or neglecting all the other centers so uh, I'll speak more about the the key words that I've I've scribbled them down. Uh, so I said that the mind needs to be kept in flow, uh, not to be stilled. Don't still the mind. That's very harmful. In fact, I've tried. I've personally tried s stilling the mind or making it quiet and whatever, and it only made my intrusive thoughts worse. It made it a hundred times worse. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Just let the portals be free. Let the mind be free. Let the body be free. Let the gut be free. Let the heart be free. And that's how you can stay connected and in tune with the earth, that's how you can actually live uh, and not, you know, be surviving. <laughs> You'll be thriving, not solely surviving. So, yeah. So, uh, have I said, okay, the key words. <laughs> I keep losing my train of thought. This is going to be a... Uh, common occurrence actually let me put this camera down I, I i can't focus when i'm holding it like that okay so the the first thing okay the intellectual center let's focus on the associations so observation and analysis when you are trying to under logically understand the world around you, what makes sense, what doesn't make sense, what can be seen, and uh, uh, find a proof of, and uh, so a lot of scientific people. Uh, seem to be they're overly in their uh, mind consciousness and it's that's not necessarily a bad thing 
uh, unless the other centers are are neglected then that's when that becomes harmful so yeah uh, what else can I say about that it's not much actually it's quite self-explanatory uh, now the, uh, the body aka the physical center will be its next uh, which I'm going to talk about so it's anything associated with anything to do with uh, our awareness of our health our own body uh, f feeling grounded and this is what a lot of people uh, need within the uh, spiritual community I'm not saying uh, all of them but they seem to oscillate between i don't know if oscillate is the right word uh mind consciousness and heart consciousness uh so much so that they neglect uh being grounded they ne neglect uh the body and the gut so actually, let me make this simple. Let me make this extremely simple, okay? Uh, so the the areas, okay, let me refer to this as areas, all right, of the body. The mind, that's an area. The body, that's an area. The heart, that's an area. The gut, that's an area. The actual uh, centers that I'm talking about is... Uh, and so on uh, the intellectual center and the area is in the mind uh, the physical center and the area is in the body uh, the emotional center the area is in the heart the instinctual center the area is in the gut and these areas are associated, and these centers are associated with different elements. As you can guess, the mind, intellectual center, associated with air, the uh, body, associated, or the physical center as well, associated with earth, the gut is associated with fire. That's the instinctual center, and the heart, uh, which is the emotional center, uh, is associated with the element of water. So when the elements uh, of the centers, the four elements, are in harmony, in, in uh, movement, in equilibrium, that is optimal to be in yes uh, i'm thinking of something else i might like to add but i think i've said a lot already Actually, okay, I'll conclude uh, this video with this and then perhaps the next video I will actually talk about how uh, one might bring awareness to the four portals uh, and like specific, I'll even tell you guys specific rituals in order to access these four portals uh, but when I say portal it's nothing that is closed uh, 
that needs to be opened or whatever if any one of these centers were actually closed we would not be alive <laughs> so i only use this uh, metaphorically of course it can be blocked as i was saying how the repetitive thoughts and uh, can block the stream of the uh, of the mind like a bunch of seaweed or plastic in the ocean or something like that so uh, these portals aren't something that you need to close or not open it's something that you can bring awareness to by different uh, rituals a lot of these uh, that I've done from my own experimentation my own personal experience <laughs> so yeah that will be shared on another video try not to uh, overly this is not me gatekeeping but this is Whoever watches this, I want it to be kept to that. Don't go around telling other people about the rituals which I will reveal to you because I... It's... Okay. I'm gatekeeping for a reason. I... Just because I've been told this and I've experimented and stuff like that doesn't make everything I say a hundred percent correct for every single person out there so uh, it's for your own protection and other people's protection that you keep this hush hush and don't tell of course uh, this video, uh, everything I've revealed, you know, there's nothing really wrong with it. If you want to go and tell other people, go ahead. <laughs> I'd be quite honoured actually. But I am still working on these things and testing them out. Because these things have been revealed to me. <laughs> Okay, uh, and none of us can say we have everything correct 100% of the time. Anyway, uh, if you've enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Peace.